in the pool. The temperature outside is 57. <laughs> Probably feels cooler. But the pool is actually heating. Are out on the sound, it's actually not as cold because the wind's not going 35 miles per hour, it's more like 20. There's still almost no water near this, the shore on the sound. There's still a nor'easter, so the ocean is overflowing and super rough, as you saw, and it sucks all the water out of the sound. So, yeah, this is usually water. Look at all the dead crabs, that's disgusting and sad but I was hoping we would get to see the water back in the sound, but I guess not this trip, it's just not meant to be. But we're gonna take a walk. I know I need to go to the store and get some bags so we can freeze our bagels that we just got. I just stocked this up on two dozen bagels. Okay, and I might sit at the bookstore might stop other places. I don't know, but I know I just, I need a good walk. We're going to be in the car a lot tomorrow. I'm going to go home and make some sandwiches for lunch so that you take a picture on it with their advertisement because that's Super Wings, the junk beach store. The birds are seriously just walking around on the sound over there because there's no water. It's crazy. You can see. Oh, Zex just made an accomplishment. Tell the good people what you did. Um, spent like over 200 attempts trying to be the, the secret boss in Splatoon. And on my very last attempt before we left, I managed to beat it. Yay, yellow toothpick.
Hello everyone, I'm in the pool. The temperature outside is 57. <laughs> Probably feels cooler. But the pool is actually heating. I don't know if it's heating or if it's just holding on to some heat. It's supposed to be 60 out for it to heat, but I guess it's close enough. So it's warm, it's dirty because the wind has been going crazy. They did just clean it a couple days ago, but it's still, still windy. <laughs> it's been sprinkling on and off, it just stopped again. But I'm just, sorry about my hand there. I'm just trying to enjoy the pool for like a half an hour. That's probably all I can take. I mean, honestly, it could be 80 degrees out in an hour is usually my limit that I'm cold. But I'm noticing we have a lot of toys we need to get from the bottom mixed in with all the leaves. <laughs> so I'm just gonna enjoy this for a little bit and go back to packing after a quick shower. I think my lips are already turning kind of cold and <laughs> purple. But I don't feel that cold. It feels like when my bath isn't hot enough and it's really cooling down. I usually hate those kind of baths, but I deal with it anyway because there's no hot water left. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> there is a hot spot. That's why Jax is over there. There's the, the hot water is coming out because it is getting heated. Hey, don't touch my towel, sir, with your wet paws. All right. Oh, what is that in the sky? What is that? It's what? trying to get through the clouds. What is it? It's working. It's a thing that's glowing. It doesn't look like it's like You guys are in there playing. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. The sun. Oh, we're just trying to make the best of this. But we leave tomorrow. Oh, and I got a lot of packing. My hair is crunchy, frizzy. I don't even know what. I guess from the wind. But I need to do all of the hot oil treatments and deep conditioners in the world when I get home because I used to have soft hair. I don't know what happened here, but yeah. See you later. Actually, 1017 and Sebastian is asleep. Oh, new order. Cover your ears. We're gonna go pause the music for a good copy of expect. Don't listen to YouTube. I'm turning it off. If you, anyway, my iPad has become the sound system <laughs> upstairs for the past week. I've decided they're playing music. Anyway, yeah, Sebastian is in bed. I just didn't have time to. I didn't have time to do this outro. He was in the hot tub. Turned down to 100. There's Bella. This is the house we stayed at when I was pregnant with Sebastian. We spoiled ourselves. It wasn't that much more than usual. And it was amazing. It was amazing. It was really rainy for half of the trip, but not this kind of rainy. The kind of rainy I don't mind. Like it's just too 
kind of rainy and I have a big umbrella and I take a walk along the sound in the rain and it's quiet and it's empty and it's lovely and it has a movie theater so the boys are down there they're probably like what's this feeling look at us sitting there with no windows no curtains they have windows anyway let me just go over the day because sort of person that I don't really record things. But I woke up at 7.30 to my first alarm. Yes, I set up an alarm because Jax wanted to be up at 8 because our friends were leaving. And then my second alarm, I was already awake and up because we heard Yvonne coming up the stairs. He's not quiet. <laughs> around, I don't know, 7.45 or something, and then he got a message that he said he was back with bagels. He has had to work all week because his new job is so new that he just doesn't have vacation accrued yet, but they were really nice, and they're, even though he's not set up to telework, they're letting him telework by, I think they're, they're having him do some remote training this week, and then he had, does have a lot of meetings, so... He's had to do a lot of meetings and almost full work days for a few of these days. But yeah, he was able to go out and get bagels in Kerala, which is not too far from here. I'm really sad. That's always a thing we did. We would drive out, the have tables outside, we'd go through and get our order in, get our bagels, sit outside and eat it. Right across the street is a mini golf complex with bumper cars and nope but he was so sweet to go do that he also got two dozen bagels for him and us you saw i was wrapping bagels what we do is we wrap them in plastic wrap and then put them in bags stick them in the freezer here and then they go in the cooler frozen put it right back and then they will live in our freezer as we eat them. I think there's one solitary sriracha everything in there from September, October when we went last. But yeah, we had our breakfast and then I just worked in the puzzle. I was so hoping I could do it, but nobody really was able to help much. Fun tried a little bit, but it was getting really, really hard. In between all the faces are where all the pieces met up and they just look like butts, yellow butts. <laughs> so, but when I finally gave up tonight saying I'm just out of time, <laughs> I messaged our group and Laura messaged back, too many butts. It was, it was too many butts. I do want to try and finish that puzzle someday, but I'm going to have to start all over because it is not on the table anymore. Backed it up right before it got smashed in bed. But yeah, I did work on that. And then, just before lunch, I decided to take the daily walk. And it was a lot nicer. It was so much nicer. The winds were going 20 miles per hour and sometimes even dipping down to 15, which practically felt like no wind. Normally anything over 15 and I'm like whining because I hate wind. And I was like, oh my god, it's so warm. At the very end of my walk, I even took off my coat when we were inside the popcorn place. But anyway, we took the sound not all the way. Yeah, we went all the way. We went all the way down. But Sebastian had to walk his scooter. I was like, you should bring your scooter, but you're not allowed to ride it on the sound. You gotta walk it. He did. He didn't complain. And then one goal was to get the bags. That I put the bagels in. I did bring plastic wrap. I knew that I always needed plastic wrap for some reason. I couldn't think of why, but I'd only brought a couple spare large Ziploc bags, so we did need to go to the market. So we walked the whole sound. I did stop into the store that I've bought in like wind chimes and stuff for, but I was just feeling overwhelmed. I'm not a good shopper. Laura's a pro. I go into a store and I'm like, there's a lot of stuff in here and then I turn around and leave. What you saw me film was pretty much how long I was in there. And after seeing how Laura shops, Jax is like, you're broken. You don't know how to shop. 
So, but in the bookstore, I took quite a long time. And if I had gone to the knitting store, which is all the way over in the next head, you have to like drive there. I probably could have taken my sweet time too. It's all what it is. Everybody has their thing, I guess. But we went into there and then headed over to the street to walk along to the market. I got the bags. I like the boys each choose a car snack, even though I have plenty left over. It's not really the stuff that they really necessarily choose. We ended up both choosing combos. Not sure. At the bottom of the bag. They like, look them up. <laughs> you know what combos are. And if you don't, you can look them up. And then we all chose a dessert. So Jax chose a fresh baked cookie from their deli peanut butter Reese's cup, I think. He hasn't told me if it was good. They're watching the movie downstairs. I got a chocolate bar coffee dark chocolate, which I'm gonna get out and have a few pieces because I figured that's easy to bring home. And the guys can have some, but they made some snack mix because I left all this stuff out so that I could pack our French press and kettle in the bottom of this box and then fill things in and I thought, hmm, maybe they'll remember they actually have all this stuff and they did. They made a big box. This is what I got. So hopefully it's not gonna have a ton of caffeine. <laughs> Oops, maybe I didn't think that thing. Sebastian got a push pop, like a Jolly Rancher flavor push pop. Let's throw this away. It's a little biscotti. It's actually gotten easier to eat because here the weather is so moist that stale things get softer. <laughs> I think we're gonna be throwing away all these half eaten chips if Mom doesn't want them for the car and we'll bring home. They insisted they needed two bags of chips. <laughs> they did not go through that. And then Laura bought two bags and she had to bring those two bags home. Anyway, yeah, we left the market and continued on and then got to the shopping center right here. We're staying, we're staying uh, next to, on the street that's like the same name as the shopping center. So I did want to try to go to a popcorn store. We've never gone there. I feel like it's always closed when they're going by. I don't know what it is, like the days are closed were there or were there after hours. But we went in and I was expecting to see, I guess, popcorn everywhere. There was a little stand right in the middle, but it's just containers and the counter and lists of what cleavers they have. And he's just like, hey, let me know what you want. And he puts a paper plate out and just he'll skip out some samples of whatever you wanted. I think my mouth is a little broken though, because the first one I wanted to sample was the seasonal strawberry shortcake. And there was some like really red popcorn and some whitish popcorn. So I'm like, oh, is it all the same flavor or is it like a mix? I hadn't actually read the size. <laughs> so I picked up the white one and I ate it and it just tasted kind of like salty popcorn, maybe a little tangy, like buttermilky tang to, to it, but it tasted kind of salty. I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I tried the red and that was really tasty strawberry. So I asked them, is this regular popcorn mixed with all the flavors? And he's like, no, that's not regular, that's lemon. Lemon pound cake. What? Maybe the pound cake part? Like, I love lemon. It didn't taste very lemony. Like, it did have that slightly sour taste. I just, it reminded me of, like, popcorn that has, like, a ranchy buttermilk flavor to it. It wasn't strong enough to be lemon to me. So I would have gotten maybe some of that strawberry, but the lemon killed it for me. I'm like, why am I so broken? Why does it taste kind of salty to me? I'm very sensitive to salt, I will say that. I have a very strong sense of smell too, and I wonder if that sometimes makes things taste a little off. Like some notes that other people don't really pick up on. They really pick up on. I've been talking for a long time. But anyway, we all had a good time sampling. We're just shoving the popcorn up our masks. 
And people started coming in, which kind of ruined it. My heart felt like a little panicky and rushed at the end. And if we stopped tasting them, he would have gladly let us keep tasting. And he had so little joy on this trip that I just wanted them to do them. Danny was not happy that he came home with more food than we had food we had to bring back and eat. But I was like, I just, it was fun and I wanted them to have fun. So Jax chose Parmesan, garlic Parmesan. I chose a cinnamon. It's really good. They're in here. I might have some of it. Oh, the cinnamon. There's the Parmesan that all smashed in there. And we got a mini size, like the smallest one of bacon cheese, bacon cheese. For Sebastian. So we got those and came home. It's just a couple minutes from our beach house. And we made sandwiches for everybody and lunch. And then I've been like packing on and off, trying to do some puzzle after dinner. Danny and Yvonne walked back to the same shopping center. It has two parts, so they went to the other part where the bookstore is. And there's a restaurant there that's always amazing, but it's always different. Like there's been a streak where maybe three years in a row was the same thing. I think it's the same owner, but they just keep changing the concept. So now it is sushi and Thai. So we got Thai food. And I never know where they've added oyster sauce or fish sauce. So I just got a papaya salad and some veggie spring rolls because I figured those were safe. I don't need any tummy troubles in the car. But yeah, I tried for an hour to do that puzzle and I just gave up. So now I to sleep. I gotta go put some laundry in the dryer because I did one last load with everybody's like swim stuff. And I'm gonna pack and get to bed and then pack and clean tomorrow. So I'll see you maybe at the house, maybe in the car, maybe on the road. But this trip is in the book. We need a do over. We have no idea how to make that happen. We can make money and take time off and everything being booked, but it was a pretty spectacular trip. But we enjoyed our time with our friends. So at least it was 20% good. <laughs> but friends, I had you. Thank you. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for saying, yeah, man, that's rough. Because <laughs> I'm like, yes, it is rough. Thank you for agreeing with me. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget. Wash your hands.